Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Had to think about that for a moment because we're in the midst of doing a lot of changing. So we're in the other side of my basement. That side of my basement is where I used to be, the studio and our family room. And we're going to be, I've had to move everything. Still in the midst. Uh, we're lifting all that rug, putting new flooring down, paint, I'm painting, I'm uh, doing, redoing the countertop because my daughter and her family, Finn and Mac and Logan, are going to come and live with us for a few months while their house is being built. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. They probably won't be moving in until January, but still... I want it all done. So we have a lot on the ball. So I'm going to show you what this side of the basement looks like now. Okay, so I'm turning you around because I don't know how to turn it when it's... Okay, so this area is where I do my sanding. There's my sanding belt under my apron. It's where I do my sanding when it's not all messy. Over here is my spray paint booth. And yeah, there'll be plastic up and all that to keep everything separate. So if you come down over here is storage. If you come down here, these two pieces were being saved for my daughters, but uh, things change and their tastes change, and so they were sold. So, all this stuff here is going to the junk guys and to um, Goodwill and whatever because we just don't need it all. That's believe it or not, we got a set of stairs going up into the garage because when the other side was Cassie's apartment. This way, she her friends could come in without coming in through our part. But because we're all so close, her friends and stuff, they never use this once. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So this is now where my big storage unit is. And under here are all completed pieces that will go to the gallery. Under all that, I have... My tables that I've still got to make. I've got so much going on. This is for now temporary where I'm going to mix my resins. And this is now my new studio. Over here I've got all the molds that I make, all my glitters. Well, the UK glitters that I had. Here is my rack of glass and stones. Tons and tons. Over here are all my pigments and paste that I use. Here is my company logo we put up. These are the shelves that were behind me before but now are up here more organized, more organized. There is the first three, well, there's actually one more, but it's long gone, pieces that I ever made. This is, this is my new thing. I'm going to have this up so that you can all see my YouTube playlist, artists, that you should go check out Moon Cusher Art, Louise Singleton Creations, Kimberly's Art, Mold Creators in the U.S. is Lee Cranch Creations, Philip Danner here in Canada, it's Moldy Moose, all Resin Pigment Canada, and here is more goodies that I use, glass and stones and just everything. So... We are turning you sideways. We are getting organized slowly. I am, but surely I've never worked so hard 
in a long, long time. And I've been out of breath for days, it feels like now. And I'm exhausted, but it is so worth every bit of it. So tonight, oh yeah, you can see it. Yay, yay, yay. Um, tonight, I hope that's readable to you and not backwards. I have no idea. I'll have to wait and watch the video. Tonight, I'm not going to art because I'm just not ready yet. Um, I've got some beautiful boards that I'm being, that are being made for me by, um, my wood guy for Christmas that I'm looking forward to. Exciting secret. I have some beautiful boards that my live edge girl, girl, Krista picked out for me and, uh, she's planing them and getting them all ready for me. I got a new order of resin and stock up on all our glitters coming in. And I am placing an order tonight with Color Passion to stock up on that. So I'm getting there, guys. I still have some stuff to move over from the other side. Then we're going to pull the rug. Um, I'm leaving the furniture there. We'll just move it from side to side as the rug's being pulled out because there's not a lot of furniture. This was all the heavy stuff. Mostly that great big, huge shelving unit for my pieces. <clears throat> I'm having fun. Um, so we'll pull the rug. My son-in-law's going to come in and put a take out the old sink. I'm going to sand the butcher block countertop down and refinish it. He'll put in the new sink. Um, we're going to lay the new flooring. Nope. Then I'm going to paint all the walls. Then we'll lay the new flooring. And then I'm going to take a well-deserved vacation in my bedroom for a month. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so what we are going to do tonight, guys, is I'm going to show you how I mix my own paste. Okay? And what we're using is what, well, I can't get any more through Artie Sue. It was when Artie Sue would do the language, language collections for us here in Canada. And now Artie Sue is retired. And I don't know where I can get these for us. Um, but if you are interested, uh, let me know. And I'll look around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn some of the iridescent colors into a paste. And this beautiful, beautiful deep red into a paste. And I'm going to show you how we do it. But first, I'm going to label the lids. So I'm just going to do it with the initials. Iridescent silver. Iridescent, red copper, yep, iridescent bronze, iridescent gold. And the copper, or the red, the red. Deep red, okay. So, we are labeled. And... Let's get her going. So I'm going to start with the deep red. And you can do as much or as little as you want. As long as you have a fitted lid that fits fairly tightly. 
and so air and stuff isn't constantly getting in this these pastes should last you a few months if not longer um, but you can make as much as you want you can make you know just enough to get you by for it depends on how often you use the color I haven't used this color in ages I to be honest with you I forget what it even looks like but what I found the reason I like to make the um, language into paste is because the language powder is chunkier it's it's a thicker powder so um it makes it when you're just doing a cup full for an art piece it makes it really difficult you have to stir 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 or you'll get chunks so i think i'm going to make this much and then this is so this is your this is where you choose your choices you choose how much you want to make in one shot keep your containers because you can use them over and over again for that color then you take your part a of your resin only part a okay and you this is where your second choice comes in you can make the paste as thick or as runny as you'd like. So put in a little bit of the resin. Stir and stir and stir and stir. So that you're breaking up all those clumps. Because hence the fact that this is why you are making a paste. You want to break up those clumps so they don't show up in your artwork. Because sometimes it's just not easy to see them. But with the language, they're pretty clumpy. So, I mean, because it, it's so pigmented. It's just, their colors are just fabulous. So... You can make it as runny or as thick as you like. So now what I'm going to do is add more to this, more powder, not resin, because I like my paste to be a little thicker than this, but I want to make sure that I break it all up first, pull it against the sides, smush it against the sides, and that'll break up the little clumps. Just smush, smush. Can you see that? I'm just smushing it against the sides to break up the clumps, and then I'll just do a swipe along the sides. And then just go back at it again. I can still see some little tiny clumps, nothing like it was, but use your sides because that is perfect for breaking up we're getting there guys okay so now I'm gonna add a little bit more I'm gonna bring out some more sticks just in case I need them a little bit more powder because I'd like it to be a little thicker than that There we go. This is more the way I like my paste. Not too thick, that it's like toothpaste or thicker. I like it so that it's like, like yogurt. The thickness, the consistency of like yogurt. And every time you use, go to use this, just give it a good stir, you know, before you add it to resin. But this is so easy to do, guys. You can turn any powder you have into a paste. And no, it does not set off 
a difference when you mix your resin. It does not set off a difference. So it's not like you got to, you know, um, when you measure your resin harden, hardener and your part A, you do not have to work in the factor that you just made pigments out of part A. It doesn't affect it at all. Do not know why. It just doesn't. So I'm not complaining. You know, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. Or if it ain't, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There we go. Honest to God, guys, I did learn English in, in school. But this old body has been just working like mad. Okay, so there is our dark red in a paste. Okay, so now let's do the iridescent gold. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. It just shimmers like crazy. And I want to make a bunch of this because I love this color. It just has a really nice shimmer to it. Okay, so this is the iridescent Gold. And again, these are all language products. They were from Artie Sue. Not sure where we can get language now, but if you want, I can look into it. Okay, so pour in your part A. And then just start to mix it up. And either way, if you pour too little, you can always pour a bit more. If you pour too much, you can always add more powder. Right? Oh, this is just gorgeous. This is just beautiful. Just look at this. Ooh that is awesome. This is so how easy it is to make your own paste, guys. It's easy breezy. And some powders, like this iridescent gold, hopefully the, the iridescents are like this. They're not as clumpy. They're a more finer powder than the dark pigmented language. And so they make up really easy. But I just wanted you to see how easy it is to make your paste. So there we go. There is our iridescent gold. So now we're going to do the iridescent bronze. I think it's about the same consistency powder wise. So Let's do a bunch of it. Add your part A. Remember, just part A. And just mix it. That was my stomach, if you're wondering what that noise was. And yes, I did have dinner, just not a lot, because... When I work, I don't know about you guys, when I'm working strenuous, strenuous, stren, strenuously, <laughs> oh my God, this is so not a good night to be videotaping when I can't even speak. When I am using my strength, muscle, all that, I don't get hungry, but I know I have to eat because I'm 59 years old now. And eating is a good thing. So I made a small dinner for myself, fed my hubby, and then just started back at work. And now I'm doing this, and oh my God, this looks 
This is just so cool. Look at this. That is so cool. I love making paste. It's just, it's fun. It's fun and it's easy to have. And see now, if I was making up a cup, this is all I would need to, to give me full coverage. That's all I would need. Okay, so there's your bronze. Let's do our red copper. This is so pretty. I can't wait to see what this looks like in a paste. Look at that. Shimmer, shimmer. This is perfect color for Christmas stuff. It's another reason I'm doing this. Because my boards, my Christmas boards will be here soon for me to work on. And your part A. And then mix, mix, mix. Do it slowly at first because you know what powders are like. They'll puff all over the place. So stir slowly at first until it all collects just like that. And then you can go at it. And it breaks down and becomes thinner. See, look at that. That is so cool. Now I could add a little bit more of the part A right now. But this, because this is like toothpaste. But some people like it like that. And I think I'll just leave this like that because it's not bad. And just in case I go a little heavy handed with the resin, I don't want to make up too much. Beautiful color, beautiful color. Look at that, that is beautiful. That's the red copper. Where's the lid right there? Red copper, okay, and last but not least, we're gonna do the silver, which looks white. This is iridescent silver. So it looks white, but it's not white. It'll have a silver tinge to it. And probably on a darker background, this would look just beautiful. Mix slowly at first, so you're not puffing your powder all over the place. And once it starts to clump in together, then start stirring even more, and that'll start to turn it into a paste for you. Okay, now I definitely need a little bit more resin with this one. Let's see if that's enough. Nope. Wow. See, now some people might like it like this, but that's too chalky for me. To each his own though, right? So please know that. There is no wrong. It's up to you. Too thin, too thick, doesn't matter. It's up to you because it all does the same thing. And like I said, if you've got a nice, good fitting lid, which these ones twist on, then this should last you for months. But it's also like your other paste, guys. When you take the lid off, Stir it, give it a stir. Take what you need, right? And then put the lid 
back on. Don't leave it sitting out like that while you do your piece. Even if you're going to need it again, put the lid back on because you don't want a lot of air to get in there. So there you go. We just made all these pastes in what? 15 minutes? And that was because I was talking. We could have probably made them even faster if I wasn't talking so much, right? So there you go. So I'm also, we're not doing this. I won't bore you with it. I'm clear coating my angel. And she has a beautiful blue eye. I gave her glitter skin, glitter hair, and I did a... Can you see that? I know the lights. I'm putting new lights in here too, guys. So hopefully that'll make things better in here. I did some stenciling on her to uh, give her wings and her dress a little fun stuff. And this is for my Emma Bean's bedroom. Because she's my little angel. Well, she's friggin' 12 now, so she's not that little, but she's still my angel. This table is now because it's on a cement floor now and not, oh, not on the, uh, a rug. It's more level than it even was in the other side. So I'm happy about that and I'm, I'm thinking when uh, Cassie and Logan do move out in May when their house is ready May or June whenever it's ready for them um, I'm just gonna stay over here because what we'd really like to do is we'd like to sell and get something a little smaller um Move a little further north, get something a little smaller. Hopefully Gavin can semi-retire. He, he doesn't want to really retire, retire. He loves what he does, and that's good because I love what I do. And we'd probably drive each other crazy, even though we did really well during COVID. And now he does get to work from home, and we're still not killing each other. So who knows? Maybe semi-retired would be okay. We will see, you know, if when this all does happen, if I come on one day and tell you that I've got a husband up for sale, just don't be surprised. So anyway, so this is my move. This is my new space. My new space. These are the people I love and love watching do their work. The people, I love their molds, Moldy Moose, was talking to her today. She has so many plans for so many, I got a list this long of molds I've got to buy from her when they get going. Oh, I'm just going to be a wreck. So, okay, this is me. This is the new me. I got my <clears throat> Alexa down here. Hi, Alexa. No, hello, Alexa. Say hello, Alexa. Hi there. <laughs> she plays my music. Do you play my music for me, Alexa? Are you being shy? Alexa, play my playlist. You bet. Here's your playlist, Deborah's playlist on Amazon Music. <laughs> okay, Alexa, you can stop. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Technology is a hoot. It's just a hoot. But it's nice to have it all in one place. Like, all my music all in one place. And the minute I hear a new song that I love, or remember an old song that I love, because brandy's on here do you remember brandy i love that song brandy you're a fine girl yeah okay so that and sailing oh my god i love that there's so i just ask her to add it to my playlist and away she goes 
And so now my playlist just keeps growing. Okay, I've bored you enough. Uh, thank you for coming on the new adventure with me. It's still the same old adventure. We're still on the same adventure. We just kind of switch sides. And uh, so now we're working over here. It's a little smaller, but right now it's a little more organized. I just have to remember where I put everything, which would be fun. Oh, this is what I didn't show you. Did I show you all the boards that I get to work on? There you go. And yes, some of those are for sale too. Did you see that? Did I see that? Did you see that? Okay, that's my stand with all my stuff to work on. I'm just, I love, I love resin art. I love you guys. I love this whole adventure. This is just amazing. And I have no regrets about any of this. It's been wonderful. Thank you for being here with me and going along this road. And uh, I wouldn't want anybody else with me. You guys are the best, the very, very best. So you have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. Bye for now.